Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you, the exception mean of angel is messenger and the exception mean of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Liz Violet. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their paths, create their future, and transform the present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, meditation, angel oracle cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. And I'm going to be um, launching a journey, journey through lifetimes at a later date. Now, each episode of this show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Liz Violet, will be sharing with us her latest inspirational channeled artwork, Leo, that came through at the start of the lockdown to bring forth a message for us all in this challenging time. Now, Liz has worked in the creative arts and holistic realms for over 30 years. She runs Follies, a company that celebrates and provides artworks on bodies, which are absolutely amazing. Has run retreats in Hawaii, swimming with dolphins. She runs a women's business group, inspiring women to succeed, and is now showing her inspirational artwork through her company. So without further delay, hello, Liz, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hello. Thank you very much for inviting me to come on your show today. I'm very, very excited to be here and also sharing with all, all of your lovely, all of your lovely followers. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Liz and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So Liz, why don't you tell us about your journey and how Leo the Lockdown Lion came to be in and how he can help us at this time? Okay. So first of all, I'd just like to introduce where we are actually at the moment. Um, we're, I'm actually outside, which is why the light on me is probably not quite, you know, it's started to get a little bit more sort of calmer this evening. But what I really wanted to do was to come and be out in nature and share with you guys um we've got some beautiful um, energy here. So that's the first thing I really, really would like you just to take time to really absorb the energy here because it is so, so, so special. So, you know, that's that I just wanted to introduce that. So a little bit about me. Um, we've uh, the property we're on now and you know, wh where I'm actually si situated. And um, we had a Saxon king um, live here originally. So it's quite, um, it's quite ancient. Oh. And uh, over the years, I have worked with many ancient, um, ritualistic, um, the ancestors, the realms, etc, etc, which I'm sure a lot of your listeners will be very, very aware of. Um, so journey, journey, um, married three beautiful children. I lived in New Zealand for a while. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I've always loved colour, creation. I've always been aware that we are masters of our destiny and that we can create whatever it is that we choose in our lives. Um, very much for me, I, I always knew that I never was going to be working in a shop or something like that. I always knew that I was going to be slapping paint here and making things there and creating this and creating that. Um, and something I've done all of my life is if I love something, then I want to share it with as many people as possible. If something really supports and inspires me and almost um, helps me to be really in my truth and really, you know, focused on my journey and knowing, you know, like that moment when you're really, really in flow and there's mm. nothing else going on and you're just, you know, doing your do. There's nothing around you. And, you know, if I come upon anything like that, then I, I want to share it with many people, which is why... Um, I sort of, my company, um, Follies, it's actually a face and body painting company. And um, I saw some people in the street doing kids face paint. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. That was 30 years ago. Wow. And 
yeah, I know. And I just bought some paints and I started painting. Um, and we have just, I've had an incredible life doing that for the past 30 years. Um, I also run a body painting show. Um, I've demonstrated in all different sort of places all over the world. Um, I've worked with celebrities on television, all sorts of things that you can imagine. And um, throughout that as well, every time I, because I'm a bit of a workaholic, <laughs> I find so I love, I just like keep doing it. Um, and every time that I've needed a bit of a break, I thought, okay, what do I, you know, what's my soul crying out for? What do I really want to do? So a lot of the time in between, I've focused on, um, I've run retreats. I've been on retreats. That's how it all started. I did my Reiki and um, Seiken Mastership or oh, probably... 30 years ago maybe just a bit a bit longer than that um and all sorts of healing modalities but also because I love it I've wanted to share it I'm always like really about community and groups of people and you know that type of thing and I've always um yeah wanted to bring community together bring people together to experience the things that I love because as I say I love 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 to share so I've run retreats in Hawaii swimming with dolphins that sounds absolutely amazing just one of the most fabulous things I've done in my life and we were going to maybe be going in March this year but that obviously didn't happen due to certain things but it may happen again yeah. so um if anyone's interested yet yeah, I can uh, I can yeah I can let you know about that <laughs> that's you know that's amazing but all all those types of things you know bringing bringing community together um healing just inspiring supporting people in being the best version of themselves um, you know, I love it when I teach on my classes. I teach, you know, my, like my face and body painting classes, you know, and ladies come along that have lost their, I don't know, their mojo or their self-esteem or lost their direction or something like that. And I've sort of guided them, you know, helped them with being creative because I think being creative for me is such an important thing. It's such an important um, mm. form of expression and outlet and, you know, expression basically. Um, and I've always loved to tell a story through everything I've done. You know, for example, like a body paint, I might um, I might actually tell a story through a body paint. So when I lost my father, um, I told a story about vintage Britain, about the men going off to war and the women waiting and, you know, all the things like that. So for me, artwork is all about telling a story, helping us, guiding us through our journey. And I think that's why I've really, really, you know, enjoyed it. And particularly at this time, sort of really come back to that um, on, on a sort of a completely different level. Mm. Um, yeah. As, as, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's kind of like amazing how just one, one thing that you saw, you know, someone face painting kind of like, can develop and evolve and start rolling along more and more and more till you end up finding that you're running retreats and um you, you know you're 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 doing um body painting um and and that it, yeah it's it's just it's just amazing how synchronicity just kind of like flows and do you feel that's that's how it's been sort of like a wave of synchronicity a hundred percent so um I think, you know, when I first saw people, when I first saw people doing it, I, I saw it and I, I, I looked at all of the different component parts of it and I thought, I like, I like the idea of that and I could see myself doing it. And then, as you say, like synchronistically, various opportunities would arise. So I never really initially thought, oh, that's what I want to do. I never had that goal that I was going to do that or that, although I had mm. an idea and then all of a sudden, you know, I started doing it and then I would be so busy. I had to train someone else up and then I get a call from this person and it would got, it would lead to that. And, you know, just that, just that type of thing. And I think, you know, when we can sort of really do that, just connect into our flow, you know, without, you know, goals are great. I think it's really good to have a destination on the horizon or a feeling that you'd like to achieve perhaps you know something like that I think that's really useful um but also just really being open to the things that you know the sync I'm looking around me at the moment 
all these little synchronicities coming. <laughs> all these little synchronicities. And, you know, that's why I, I'm so grateful to be on here today, Ray, because I feel that as I'm inspired and I'm a, I'm a, put myself in a position to share that inspiration, you know, like now I feel like I'm sharing my story and I feel like I'm really in flow and I feel like I'm really connected to the land and, my energy and the energy of what's going on around me and I think the more that you know we can do that and allow ourselves to do that and when I'm in that space if I can share and you know some it might just click in someone else you know that's that's sort of my my dream and my desire is just to just to maybe inspire or someone might hear something or see something or do something or connect to something and then go yes that's that's my that's my path, my journey. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't feel like I'm telling anyone what to do because that's not what I'm here for at all. <laughs> I'm just sort of like I'm doing my thing, and if in doing my thing and sharing what I'm sharing, you're going, oh yeah, I get that, or it just clicks something inside of you. Job done. You know that's what it's all about. It's about it's coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here it comes. So it's about sometimes when I go out and I see like on my retreats, I've seen it before. I don't see loads of stuff, but I see like all the little keys, and it's almost like I see the keys turning, and I see all the little connections being made, and I'm going all fizzy. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It's that sort of thing yeah. it's about just um, op opening the gateways turning the keys, making the connections, you know, so allowing, you know, when we're in that space and we're in that flow, we can open that up for those around us. And I think that's, I think that's really, <laughs> that's it. We got yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Kat Gilbert says, love you, Liz. You've I empowered so you. many women. I love that girl. I, you're a darling. Cat lives. Cat's living over in Canada. Or yeah, you know me, Cat. She's a she's a warrior <laughs> girl right there as well. She you so have you, Cat. I'm a mirror for you. Well, that's better. I'm a bit closer. You can see me. I'm a bit lighter now. <laughs> Just a little bit. So so did you paint when you were a child? Mm. Were you artistic then at all? I don't think I was really. No, I think I am. Um, I think I struggled quite a lot as a child. Actually, I think I was sort of thinking, "What? <laughs> what's going on? What you know? What, what's going on around me? You know, what? What am I here for? That type of thing. You know, I think I've sort of come into my own a bit more. I think actually, with um, you know, with doing when I actually did start painting, I think that's when I really sort of like I, I I don't know if I want to use the term like found who I am type thing but you know <laughs> it's into my I suppose you call it my personal power or who I really am or you know however however you'd like to um you know sort of say it yeah I think that was when not really much as a child no no not really not really so it's, so, so did you know before you picked up a, a paintbrush I've just seen the um, face painting that you could actually paint Oh, yeah. I mean, I had done some. I had done some. Um, but, you know, to be fair, you know, people people come on my courses and they go, oh, I'm, I'm not artistic at all. And I say, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be artistic. You know, you just have to be a little bit creative. Just have that creative mind, you know, and just have an idea of, you know, putting things together and everyone that, you know, I've never, ever had anyone or you know shared with anyone that hasn't been able to sort of create something from it you know what whatever that may be yeah 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 so so how did um leo sort of like develop me i mean i mean you just can't help when you look at the at the camera you just can't help but look at at leo, at leo there i mean you know even if you just see one eye it's kind of like wow <laughs> and that so so how did he come into into being on well, manifesting into this physical realm yeah so basically um you know but i mean just back to the business you know we've you know 30 years in my business in the industry you know we've built up built up an amazing business you know i have girls that work for me subcontract we had we got a huge new contract this year you know everything was just going absolutely great guns also on some level I got myself into some patterns that weren't necessarily serving me 100%. And I believe that anyone watching this will probably, even though it's probably been the hardest 
three months of my life, I would say, this. Um, you know, on some level, I think we all knew and know that something had to change. <laughs> yes. And therefore, for me, it was huge, you know. Let's get that rug and just drag it right out from under her feet. Not mm -hmm. only was it my finances have been absolutely crushed, uh, same with my husband. So we've neither of us, you know, income just yeah very little help whatever anyway da 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 um but all of those things that we knew you know just gone totally just everything gone and also for me very much the and obviously a lot of people going out being with people being creative you know all of that just just in that instant just gone 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 okay so then i started to feel i went um last year and as I say, really into rituals and traditional and this sort of, you know, the way. And um, we went to Kuala Lumpur last year. We were walking. I was with my beautiful niece, Lauren, and we were walking um, down a street. And there was a sign outside this shop. And it said, the universe has transpired for you to be in this moment at this time. So we looked at each other because Lauren's quite... You know, we went, oh, okay. We looked in the shop and it was a batik shop. Now, I've, being a creative and Lauren being a creative, we went, yeah, let's go do batik. So we went in that day. The two boys went off and her and I, we sat and we made these beautiful batiks. I'd wanted to make a Chinese, a Chinese wealth dragon. I'd wanted to buy a Chinese wealth dragon. And then I thought, hang on a minute. Why am I buying a Chinese wealth dragon that someone else has created? Why am I not creating my own wealth dragon? So that's what I did. I went into this petite class and I created this wealth dragon. So it's something that ever since I came back from there, I loved it. And I thought I've always wanted to do petite. That's something, you know, I've ever since then I thought I've, I love the, the process of it, you know, the wax and the ink and the whole ritualistic process of it. That for me was just beautiful. And the colors are so vibrant and bright and, you know, energetic. So I came back and then, of course, I got busy with work and everything, you know, as you do, rah, rah, rah. Yeah. It never happened. So when this occurred, this situation, I thought, okay, I've done one, I would had done one small boutique like, <laughs> in my life, you know, and I thought, okay, let's do a boutique. So I had this frame, I, you know, researched it, put all the kit, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And then what I started doing was I decided because i was in a really good space at the start you know fabulous wonderful you know it was lovely the sun was out the birds were singing it was all wonderful so what i did was i live streamed him being created because i felt so much that he was um to me he was like a real anchor to me he was like he he needed to come through he had something to share with all of us at that at that time and now um it was all about um you know what are we going to do with this guys you know how are we going to use this he almost was coming forth and saying be courageous be strong okay really really tap into that inner power you know all of those things your you know your inner power if you look at him there he's talking about you know, the the crystal, the crystal within the heart, you know, yeah. really, really take this time just to tap into yourself, your power, your energy with courage, you know, all of those things. He was really pulling that through for me. And the other thing that he did as well was as I was on, you know, networking groups and Zooming with people, et cetera, et cetera, he was always behind me, even if he'd just been sketched out or even if he just had yellow ink on him or when he put when I put the blue on. So what I actually did was so many people that I saw regularly over a period of time sort of evolved with him. So it wasn't only my energy. It was every time, you know, we were in the groups and people were sharing their dreams, their hopes, their aspirations, all of that. It was almost like all of that energy went into that image. Mm. So not only was he coming through for us all, but he was working with us all at the same time. 
Um, and then one time I had a, um, a Zoom call. I had one more session to do. So I, I knew I was going to finish him in, in one session. And I was I was on and on about what colours to use and stuff like that, you know. So anyway, I had a, I had a Zoom call with all my family. And um, what I did was I... Um, I said to them, what colours? You know, what colour, what colour, what colour would you put? So one said this colour, one said that colour, one said the other colour. So what I did was I just thought, I'm just going to use all their colours. <laughs> suggested to me. I added all those parts in the main. So again, that to me, it's about, it's about creating something visually that tells a story. It's that story, the energy of the story, the energy of the journey. And it's about just freezing that in time you know immortalizing that so now we have leo he will be here with us forever to remind us you know and that's what i really pray for him that's that's my you know i know it's helped people i know it's really helped and supported people coming through but my prayer for him is now that he will continue to grow and he will go out there into the world and he will remind people how far they've come how they tapped into that courage how they really dug deep how they you know really tapped into their in, inner strength to get them to where they are now and also you know to keep reminding them to take that energy with them forward you know sort of the way that people have you know all worked together what a community we've had it's just been yeah. incredible you know people have come together community people have been so much more empath empathic with each other and um, people like me for example hands up have gone into their can i swear one thing i've gone into their shit yeah. <laughs> perhaps things that perhaps things that i wasn't even aware you know aware of on some level for me i don't know about other people but i have gone into stuff that I probably didn't even know was there. Do you know what I mean? I have been on the floor with this, you know, and I'm smiling about it today. But also I would say to people, you know, if you are really, really struggling, guys, whatever's going on, get some professional help. I would say, you know, speak to Ray, speak to anyone, reach out to people. And that's something I've realised through this that I've never done. I've never really reached out and asked for help. I've mm. always been really brave, like Leo, and got on with it. But I think for me, this has been about actually not so much being brave and putting on a brave face, but being brave to go there, wherever you need to go in this. I think we need to go there. We need to, you know, sort stuff out. We need to sort out whatever needs to be sorted out in this. And then renewed, refreshed, let's let's step forwards you know with new ways with new energy etc 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 so that is my prayer for leo that he will sort of remind people inspire people and um you know support people in this scenario and ongoing you know um through 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 their journeys yeah yeah and it, it's an interesting point that you um that you actually brought up there is the asking for help and quite often as therapists, um, business um, owners, etc., we kind of like feel that we shouldn't be asking for help. It's like, you know, we, we're supposed to know everything we're supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. But we have to remember sometimes that we do need help. We, we do need guidance. You know, we've you know, if, if you've if you've been helping so many people, you kind of like, OK, perhaps someone now needs to help me a little bit. Um, and it is having that courage to actually, you know, say, help. Yeah, 100%, 100%. And it's interesting because the people that I know that are generally, and I use the term, I don't think anyone's elite, you know, leaders, the people that are the ones that are supporting others and helping others and that sort of thing. I have seen and experienced that they are some of the people that have been hit hardest in this. And I believe that is probably because I don't know why that is, but that's what I've seen. So I would say to anyone, you know, really, really do, you know, reach out your hand. You don't, you really don't have to go through this on your own. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, and be vulnerable. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. I think that is a huge, I think that's a hugely courageous thing to actually, 
allow yourself to go there and maybe even be witnessed in that, you know, allow your mm. family to see, you know, who who you can, you know, who you in your weakness. It's not, it's a strong, I think it's a strong thing to do. Yeah. Well, we'll look at, we'll look at lions, you know, lions will ask other lions for help and they will show their vulnerability to 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 the you know to to their prides and that so you know if, if lions can do it and they're they're thought of you know as brave courageous creatures then then why don't we yeah so just ask anyone ask <laughs> yeah and jazz k is on there liz yeah, with lots of hearts nice <laughs> darling girl that's lovely lovely jazz thank you darling thank you for joining and tuning in seeing what we've been up to with our leo yeah yeah and of course if anyone's got any questions you know please do feel free to ask um you know this is your opportunity um to you know to find out more information or if you've got anything you want answered um you know um that you, you've you've got the chance now to to actually do that so so where do you see leo going next well, what we've actually done is we have um, created, I'll show you, I've got a couple of little um, pieces here. So um, we've created some uh, products from Leo that um, we are sharing online. This is um, one of the, we have a series of um, wall hangers. So this is our little mini, um, which is rather gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. Really lovely. And I've had people, it's interesting actually, because I sort of, I, you know, my thought process on this was that it might be, um, you know, for people to, I mean, I, he hangs in my home. I've got the four sizes of him hanging up in my dining room, which I absolutely love. Um, <laughs> but, you know, people have come to me and said he's really lovely for a child's room or, you know, there's lots and lots of different, you know, people are coming with such fabulous ideas. So if anyone's got an idea, I would love, love, love um, to hear that. We've also started um, producing, actually today, uh, we, we produced our first one. We've got a lovely big banner. We've got a huge banner, which is actually bigger than our original. Um, and it, it actually um, has stronger together along the top there. Wow. It's to be hung up um, for offices, shops, you know, people that are returning to work just to you know really really share that message thank you jazzy <laughs> um yeah just to share that message you know we are stronger together you know what we've all come through we are stronger together and i think you know if there's one thing we take from that that you know that's going to be one of them and then also you know if there's companies they want to have their logo underneath yeah like that you know cafes bars anything he hangs inside or outside so that's one thing we've done with him the other thing we've done with him is these fabulous masks. Ah. So we've got these lovely um, masks as well. Pretty lovely cool. Masks. They're rather lovely. And what we're doing with the masks is we've actually um, teamed up with a couple of charities. I'm just waiting to hear, so I'm not going to mention the charities. Mm -hmm. We're just working with them at the moment. And there will be a donation from the sale of any mask will go to the charity. So, again, you know, the wearer. You know, this is your this is your strength. This is your courage. This is your protection, or you know, whatever it is, how, however it is you want to. Um, uh, let's see what um, Sue says. I just oh, Sue, Sue says she's um, uh, she's got some batik gear that she must get out again. Oh yes, you got to wear your batik, so. <laughs> and then we have our lovely journal. So these are fabulous. So this is um, I added him to the website today. So he's lovely because he's, you know. He's almost like giving you the courage and the strength and whatever it is you need, you know, to create, you know, put your desires down in there. And he's almost sort of like inspiring, guiding, you know, he's giving you that sort of vision, hopefully, and that gumption and that, you know, behind all of that as well. So that's, yeah. our, you know, our books. One of the things I'm really excited about is um, I've ordered myself as a prototype, I've ordered myself a pair of Lycra gym leggings with like loads of little mini Leos on. And I really as well, I want to get a um, like a silk bomber jacket made in it with a zip up it, you know. That'll be cool. Come on, I'm a young, I'm a young <laughs> I'm a young girl. I mean, I've got to wear the gear, you know. <laughs> exactly. And Jazz K was saying she'd love a towel with that print of Leo on. See, that's another thing you could think of, towels. A couple 
of people have said towels, Jazz, yeah. And one of the things that I'm also um, working on at the moment is um, getting him, because obviously, you know, with his story and the empowerment that hopefully he will bring to people, that's my dream. You know, when people see him, they remember it. And, you know, that it's all about, you know, empowering and moving forwards and strength and courage to you know to keep going or do that or whatever it is and um one of the another place that i really get that is on my yoga mat so one of the things that i would love to do is um get him printed onto some yoga mats um we obviously i've looked into it and it is very expensive i was going to imagine it possibly so um what i'm going to be doing is setting up a crowdfunding page at some stage um to um, share that and try and get some yoga mats printed so that we can just get his energy out there and keep on sort of empowering people with with you know with his his fabulous energy really yeah yeah well I think Jazz K uh, um, wants everything because she wants the mask <laughs> she wants the mask and the journal and the journal <laughs> and she does say i love this print what a creative woman you are thank you jazz bless you bless you bless you thank you lovely <laughs> now, yes there's there's so much that that you you can actually um you can actually do do with him mm -hmm. and then and get him out and get him out there yeah and that which which and is which is pretty yeah. cool there's some meditations coming and they're just going to be free on on the page as well you know, so if I'm getting, you know, sorry, Ray, I'm talking over you. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm no, just, keep going, keep going. Yeah. I just had some water. Yeah, I'm off. Um, yeah. <laughs> so there's, um, you know, there's some meditations coming. So if I'm feeling something, if something comes through, then what I will do is, you know, I just set myself up, set myself up with him, record the meditation, and it just goes online, and it's just free for people to, um just free to you know help people out ha ha what because i'm talking over someone <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that'd be great it's just my my excited my passionate energy that's all it is yeah yeah and and it, and then and it's brilliant you know when when you've actually got a passion for something and it just shines through um it's it's absolutely it's absolutely amazing you know and, and obviously that's part of what this show is you know for people to share their passions yeah. and get it out there um and hopefully inspire other people brilliant yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and uh so yeah so there's lots of uh suggestions where we can where we can go with the um leo um in that and as we're talking um about uh about where we can go with with that as you know Liz I do guided meditation and um, angel card readings and each week I do like to ask my guests whether they would like me to do a mini guided meditation or angel card reading for those and for myself and those watching um, but we might just do something slightly different as well so what's this so Liz I'm this I'm hoping you're going to give me ask what I think yeah do you want me to pull a card or do a guided meditation? Oh, I don't, I don't know what answer you want me to give, but can I share something before we do that? Okay. About something we did last week. Yeah, yeah. More than, okay. more than welcome to, yeah. So um, Ray and I have known each other for a while, just through a networking event, and um, Ray offered me one of her sessions last week, and it was absolutely fabulous. So I just wanted to say to everyone, if you're thinking about, you know, doing something, then go for it because it was so insightful. It was really, really very, very, very insightful. So I just wanted to say thank you for that. Uh, you're welcome. Absolutely fine. And you know what, Ray? I'm going to pass it over to you because you're obviously really feeling that something, and I'm, I'm going to pass that one over to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, well, what Liz was talking about was the journey through lifetimes, which I've created, which basically I take you back to um, your first ever incarnation on earth, but also where you came from before you came to earth. Then we go through um, previous lifetimes to um, that you can heal and learn from to help in your present time and we go into in between lives and your in between life before you chose to come into this incarnation so that you can actually do a life review 
but also you can see why you came into this um, lifetime, what your purpose was and what you need to learn. Um, and that's what and that's what we did. And it was absolutely amazing with, with what came through for Liz. <laughs> and that, so what I'm going to do, first of all, is we're going to do a card and okay. then we'll we'll see whether this works out or not. OK. <laughs> OK. So just cleanse and bless the cards. And for those that don't know, when I do um, Angel Oracle cards, I don't predict the future. Um, when I do the cards, it's what you need to know for your highest good at this moment in time, which seems a bit contradictory as I work in the past. But when I work in the past, it's to um, heal the past so you're not worried in your present. And when we go into the future, if you know your future, you're not worried about your present. So everything always comes back to the present. So what does Liz and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Liz and everyone who's watching this need to know for their high school student? I'm going to go with that card. <laughs> We've got a beautiful card, which has got quite a bit of yellow in. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. <laughs> that is our card, guys. We've had enough doom and gloom. We're going to party from here on in. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Um, and then that, you know, that's what the angels are kind of like saying, you know, open your heart up to, 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 to the experiences of love and joy in the world and connect with people that bring you lots of love and joy and programs that bring you love and joy and read stuff that bring, bring you love and joy and just sort of like get that out there. Um, and as we pulled that card, and this is what I was thinking, and I'm quite glad that card did come out, because what I was going to ask, so I'm going to put you on the spot now, no. is do you reckon you could do a quick channeled guided meditation? Yeah, Just a very it. brief one from Leo. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So just tap in. Feel your... Feel your roots just going down into the earth. Just down, 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 right into the centre of the earth. Just feel yourself just relaxing. Just breathing in. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Breathing that energy in and just taking your roots right down. And just opening, just have that sense of just really opening your body. What I suggest you do is just put your hands on your lap and just face your hands up to the sky. Just have that sensation now, the roots are going firmly in the earth. Have that sensation of opening up to the sky. Just really open up to the sky. Don't As your roots go into the centre of the earth, there is a beautiful pool of energy. In the centre of that pool of energy is a beautiful crystal. Just allow your roots to really grasp that crystal. Just energy, that crystal energy to flow back up from the centre of the earth. Right back up and into your heart space. Think about that. Think about that heart. In the image of Leo. See that heart? He's got that on his third eye. He's got the heart there. Feel it in your heart. Feel it in your third eye. Feel that crystalline energy just pulling itself up, coming up through the whole of your body, through your chakras. And just allow that energy out of the top of your head and send it up into the heavens. Send that energy up. 
so that you are just an open conduit between the earth and the heavens and the energy is flowing freely through that. I would just like to ask you at this time, just to focus on those two areas I'm getting for you tonight. Focus on your third eye and focus on your heart centre. They're the two areas we're being asked to focus on. And really see that image of Leo. Really see that image of Leo. See that heart with that crystalline energy right at the centre of it. Really just feel into that. Feel into that. Open yourself up. Be courageous. Be strong. Focus and tap into your strength. Into your inner strength. Courage. Have courage to go wherever you want to go. Have the courage to do whatever you want to do. Really focus on your centre. This is about you, this journey. The more you are in your truth, the more you are in your power, the more you are serving yourself and serving those around you. Even though the illusion of life may not look as if that is always the situation, the more you focus on your truth and your courage and your strength, the more you serve the planet and you serve those around you. So just sit with that energy for a moment. Really tap into your heart, tap into your third eye, See that symbology of the heart with the crystal at the centre of that heart. Really allow that energy just to pulsate in that area. You may feel Leo sitting with you. You may feel him walking alongside you. You may feel he has a message for you. So just tap into Leo's energy. See what he is bringing forth for you in this moment. Listen to those sounds of nature. Beautiful sounds of nature. Thank you for the gift of thanks to Leo. Thank you for whatever he has gifted you. Just really gently, when you are ready, we're going to pull the energy in from the heavens. Pull the energy back up. Just pull through anything you need to bring to you. Just pull through any lessons, any learning, anything that you may have had to touch before. Just pull that into your centre. Pull that into your heart centre and your centre. You just like to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your third eye. And just with that energy, that crystalline earth energy, just connect that throughout the whole of your being. Connect those throughout the whole of your being. <laughs> I'm really getting the dragon energy coming in now, so I'm just going to share with you while we're here. The dragon energy, which is coming next in the series, <laughs> is about sharing the truth from the ancestors sharing the story of whence we came clearing away the illusion of what's going on in this world the craziness that's going on in this world and i honor all every single part of it 
just clearing all that away so that you may truly, truly, truly see clearly who and what it is that you are here for. What is your destiny? What is it that you are here to create or share? What's your story? What's your story in this lifetime? There he is. There he is. Beautiful. And lovely, just to let you know, team, we have Merlin on our side. He's here coming through strong and proud. And he says, you guys, you are strong. You can create whatever you choose. You are really quite the magnificent sorcerers, sorcerers and sorceresses. All he says you need to do is tap into your truth with courage and strength. Tap into your truth with courage and strength. And then from there, it will come. So when you're ready, guys, just take a deep breath. Is Violet come back to the room? <laughs> Everybody, if anybody's... <laughs> But he's still out there. Come back. There are people still here. No, I'm saying if anyone's <laughs> come back to the room. And whilst we're doing that, um, just K said, um, where do you get them all through? So uh, all from. So I'm talking, um, and she said, all the products. Right, hang on. <laughs> I'm just coming back to her. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, right. So the all of the products are um, on um, follies.co.uk forward slash follies hyphen artworks. So what I'll do, perhaps we can put a little link in. Yeah, in I'll, I'll be I'll be putting a, um, a a post in after the show anyway with with the links and everything. So okay. if you get that to me, I'll post that. I'll put that up for you. Yeah, so um, Follies Artworks. Hopefully, if you search it, if you search Follies, Follies Artworks, or just look on uh, follies.co.uk forward slash Follies hyphen artworks. Leo, the lockdown line, he may come up as well. So, yeah, that's probably quite. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's yeah. probably the one. Yeah. So, Jazz um, liked the sound of the card being pulled. I hope the card made sense to you, um, Jazz K. And, uh, you know, you are sort of like opening your heart up and yourself up to uh, to all the joy and delight that's actually, that's actually um, coming in. And wow, this sounds so interesting. Um, don't know if that's meditation or the journey through lifetimes, um, but whatever it is. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all interesting. I love the way the dragons and Merlin happen to come in now. Um, <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise that they, that they actually... Um, <laughs> coming he's he, he's our he's our next fatigue so yeah he's coming he's coming and then we have just to finish off we have the phoenix which is nice coming, which is actually which is actually gonna um be a sort of a phoenix peacock slash that's sort of what's coming through at the moment so let's see what happens i think it's just the energy of the peacock it's very mm. uh, regal very wealth you know that sort of thing and I, i'm not talking about I, yeah, well, abundant wealth. I'm talking about wealth of life. Yeah. Energy, that sort of wealth, you know. Uh, it's very it's very much around that. As well as rising from the ashes, it's that, um, you know, the energy of good health and wealth in, in all things, abundance, yeah. Um, cool. So, everyone, I hope that you've enjoyed this and found it insightful. And the words of wisdom that Liz has given you will help you further on your journey so, Liz, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Um, and not just for for the uh, uh, Leo products, but, you know, if, if they want to connect with you, how do they do that? Um, yeah, just, I mean, if you search Liz Byler online, I'm sure something will come up, some sort of link with me in um, doing something or other. And I'm sure that you'll, you know, you'll be able to um, find yep. it easily. Follies, Liz Follies Byler, Liz Follies 
Leo the Lockdown Lion, any of those, and I'm sure you will come upon me. And I do hope that, you know, our paths will cross. And I do hope that Leo has, you know, inspired um, you tonight. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I'm there. I mean, he's such an amazing energy. And when you, you just have to look at the picture, you know, even with the um, with with the uh, guide meditation, which, by the way, Liz didn't know she was going to be doing. It just <laughs> it just it just came to me when I asked Liz about the um, card and the uh, and, and the meditation. I thought if we to pull the card, then we'll we'll get where the uh, meditation is going. So thank you very much for doing that impromptu uh, uh, guide guided meditation for us. Well, thank you, because it's great for me, because then it gives, the more that I do that, it gives me more clarity as well. So, you know, it's fabulous. That's what it's all about. It's about the more we're in our truth, you know. Yeah, brilliant. Exactly. So, everyone, I hope you've um, in, enjoyed this show. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. You know, please reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute session via Skype or Messenger to find out more about each other and how I can help you take charge of your destiny. Um, and obviously, Journey Through the Lifetimes, I am sort of like going to be putting that out there. And of course, with everything that's been going on, if everything works out OK and you're looking for a chance to get away and learn more about yourself, then I will be running a four day retreat down in Glasgow in October. So please feel free to check out and register your interest. Um, we sort of like be working with Mary Magdalene, St. Germain, the Dragons of Glastonbury, Merlin, um, <laughs> because obviously they're all connected down there. And of course, I've got the Angel Wings community. Um, which is open, which is where you get a chance to uh, grow with the Ascended Masters, Archangels and Oracle Cards to spread your wings and soar by be uh, um, and becoming the best possible you. And of course, if you want to sign up to my weekly newsletter, you get some free gifts with that. So thank you everyone so much for watching. And I would like you to invite this invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women out who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you and actually would like to tap into the um, energy of Leo, um, which I think is is quite important, is going to be really going going out there. So again, thank you so much, Liz, for being on the on the show. It's been a pleasure having you. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed it. And thank you for doing that guided meditation for us. And thank you, Leo, for coming on the show and the Dragons and Merlin. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to everyone who's watched um who's watched and made comments especially jess k thank you so much um for for joining into the show so i look forward to um you all joining me again same time same place next week have a wonderful week and i'll see you all later bye thanks ray bye all <laughs>